All right, people, today I'm going to show you how you can watch 3D Blu-rays on your Oculus Go. For this, you will need a Blu-ray drive, and you'll need a couple of different programs. They're both free right now. Free is good. All right, let's go ahead and start off with The Little Prince. It's a cool movie in 3D, for sure. Uh, go ahead and... Oh, Go ahead and download Make MKV from this website. I'll put a link in the video description. It's free. Uh, once you install it, you have to put this free beta key in. And then you can run it. I don't know what the limitations are without it. I've never tried. All right. Fire up Make MKV. Go to File. Put in your Blu-ray disc. Go to File. Open Disc. The Little Prince. Okay. It's going to open up. Go ahead and uncheck everything except for the top one which is usually your movie double click on it and make sure this isn't checked by default you have to set this up you have to click on this yourself right here MPEG4 MVC 3D that's the 3D movie and it's up to you you want English subtitles Chinese subtitles you know I uncheck pretty much everything in here as far as I probably actually I think I do I keep the English subtitles and the English audio and that's it and then go ahead and click on make MKV and it's gonna go ahead and make an MKV out of this video file now when it makes it it won't look 3d to you it'll just look 2d but it's 3d and I'll show you how we're gonna process that so go ahead and click on that and you know yeah set the video the output folder and uh, it'll take it will probably take about an hour hour and a half to do that and when that's done then we'll open up uh, the other app all right now go ahead and download this free app bd3d2mk3d and extract it's just a zip folder it's just a zip file once you have that extract go ahead and launch that app now change it up here click on switch to 3d mkv mode and then click on Open 3D MKV, and then navigate to your MKV file. So here we have the little prints. Double click on it, and what it does is it automatically detects that the view is in order. Left view is in the ABC stream, the right view, or yeah, left left view is in the ABC stream, which means left eye first. And then you can now, if you want to play this in anything other than Skybox, Skybox is great. It's a recommended player, but the other apps won't play AC3 audio. Skybox pretty much plays everything. But if you want anything else to play this to have audio, go down here and select convert the audio tracks and change AC3 to AAC. And then you'll be able to play it in other things like Pegasus. Pegasus won't play it. I think there's a hack for a Pegasus, but you shouldn't have to do that. So besides, that's for the paid version of Pegasus and Skybox is free. So select here what you want. I don't change anything here. Titles and tags, it requires you to type in the name of the movie, so little prints. Now I've actually already done this, so I'm not actually doing it right now. I'm not actually gonna process it, but I'll show you the results. Cover art, options, and go. So here's my recommendation. Uncheck half side by side. It gives you a warning. It's like, oh no, it's not gonna be compatible. But we're gonna watch it on the go and full side by side. It looks better. I've tried both. It definitely looks better on the go and full side by side. Um, what I personally do is I change the CRF to 18 and it's really good quality. I change the preset to slower. It, for on my system, it takes like 10 to 12 hours. A lot of people just do medium and probably only take an hour and a half on medium. But if you go to slower, it's going to be really good quality. It'll be the same visual quality no matter what you se select here because it goes by 18. That sets the quality. If you set it to slower, it uses less data. So the file size is smaller. For Tune, since this is an animation film, select it to animation. I mean, you don't have to use Tune if you don't want to, but I do. Temp project, uh, project folder. You can select whatever folder you want. You have to have enough space because it takes up probably a good 30 to 50 gigs just for the processing. Then click Do It. And what it's going to do is it will create a folder with the name of your movie uh, in the path that you told it to. And this probably will take a good 20 minutes or so. If you don't want to have to wait for this to be done, you can just put a check mark in exit 
and encode after successful demux because what it's doing is it's extracting the left and the right view and the audio and then it's going to process them all. You can just put a check mark on that and walk away. It'll pop up a command prompt and it'll you'll see the progress. However, sometimes, sometimes there are complications and I can show you how to take care of that. For example, Life of Pi. This was hard for me. This one took me a couple of days to figure out what was going wrong with it and I'll tell you. All right, here we are in the folder of the Life of Pi. And here's a problem that I had. What what would happen is the life of pi, it doesn't have the left eye on the left side. It starts with the right eye. So this program was having trouble. And when it would make it in side by side, I would watch it, but it wasn't 3D. It was just two dimensional. So this file up here, I had to change something. In this file, this is a file that tells it how to encode. Partly, there's three different files that tell it how to encode. And this is the AVI synth. You need to have, oh, also you need to have AVI synth installed. This had an additional parameter inside, and it was this. It was at layout equals alt. So I had to delete that. And once I deleted that, it worked fine. It encoded fine. So I'll show you what I mean. So right here, you can see the life of pi. It says right view in AVC stream. So if that happens, whatever blu-ray discs you have that show that you're going to have to go into that avs file and just delete layout equals alt and then you'll be good so now you can watch your 3d blu-rays on your oculus go I want to thank wes raven for this uh, i posted a i was having a conversation with another person on youtube and i was like how do you do this i haven't been able to successfully rip my 3d blu-rays and uh, they never responded. And then Wes Raven was like, hey, here's how you do it, which is really cool. So thank you, Wes. Appreciate it a lot, seriously, because I was, I couldn't figure it out. Okay, now I want to show you the right way to play a full side-by-side -side movie in Skybox. You have to, you have to go and change it to side-by-side, -side, and you have to change the aspect ratio to 16.9. There is a full side-by-side -side option, but it doesn't really work. It just kind of crops it, and it doesn't look right. So, so see how this is too wide? So we go over here. It's already set to side-by-side, -side, but what you don't want to do is turn on full side-by-side -side matching because it will, it will crop some of it. So just go up here to aspect ratio and select 16 by 9. And then it's perfect. It is perfect. And what I like to do is change it to curved display. I love it. And this is about the right amount of space I like it from me. So I have about 50, 60% of the screen in my view and then the rest of it I have to look. Yeah, this looks amazing. I'm actually playing this off of my network right now. And it's a 22 gigabyte file streaming on my 5G, 5 gigahertz network. This looks much better than just doing half side by side. I did both and this just looks crisper. So again, just you have to manually set it to 16 by 9. And then on stereo mode, make sure you set it to side by side. And again, also I do curve to display. And I sit not totally completely close to it. I don't want to get too close to it. It just kind of doesn't work. It seems like the depth is off. I get about like that. Looks great. That's how you watch it using Skybox, which is my recommended way of doing it. It's free. Looks great. Looks looks even better than in Pegasus. All right. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Highly recommend using Skybox because it like is free and it plays them great. I would also recommend when you watch it, uh, bring the use the curve screen and bring it like close to your face not too close but like I don't know halfway so about 50% of the screen is in your view and you got about 25% off to each side and you feel really immersed in the 3D if it's too close it kind of I don't know kind of ruins the 3D effect but if it's about you know, halfway 60% of the way uh, it looks really good all right so if, again if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have any questions let me know and I will talk to you later thanks